Hi everyone, myself Dr. Shilpa Illor. I am a fertility consultant at Milan Whitefield, Bangalore. Uh, today I will be going to speak about male infertility. As everyone speaks about the female infertility, so today I will highlight about the male factor of infertility. Infertility is defined as when a couple fails to conceive even after one year of unprotected coitus. So now coming to the male infertility. When a male partner fails to make get a pregnancy in a female fertile female then we call it as a male factor for infertility. Uh, coming to the causes of infertility, female per se factor is about 35 to 40 percent, male accounts for about 20 percent, combined male and female about 10 percent, multiple female factor about 10 percent and unexplained about 10 percent. So I will be speaking about the male factor which is accounts for about 20 percent of infertility. The causes are divided into the defect at the sperm production level which can be congenital due to chromosomal anomalies or due to the undescended testis or it can be due to acquired like infections, torsions, varicocele, etc. And it can be uh, at the level of the sperm transportation which can be again into congenital or acquired one. In a congenital variety it may be due to the absence of vasodifference or epididymis or it may be due to the blocking of the duct due to the tuberculosis infection. Now coming to the sexual issues, it can be due to the retrograde ejaculation, premature ejaculation or infrequent coitus etc. And next coming to the endocrine causes like diabetes in male partner, thyroid issues in male partner or it can be due to congenital hormonal deficiency from the pituitary gland. Uh, the various lifestyle changes which are increasing cause for the male factor infertility include the first and the more foremost is the stress levels. As now most of the couples are living in the nuclear families and whole burden is on the male factor. Uh, so the stress plays an important role in the cause of the male factor infertility. Uh, due to level, increased level of stress, there is increased uh, cortisol hormones from the brain which causes uh, sperm production and sperm motility defects. Next coming to the alcohol intake. Occasional alcohol intake is okay but uh, regular intake with uh, increased amount of alcohol intake may cause defect in the sperm parameters. Next coming to the smoking. The smoking has a direct effect on the sperm semen parameters. The nicotine present in the cigarettes which causes decreased blood flow to the testis hence the sperm production at the level of the testis may be defective. Next coming to the weight. Overweight, now uh, the couples have become such a way that the whole day they work and there is no any physical activity as such. So increased overweight and increased BMI in the male factor has also effect on the seven parameters. Uh, coming to the investigation of the male partner, the most important is the semen analysis. For the semen analysis to be done, the couple, the male partner has to be instructed that there should be abstinence of 3 to 5 days and the semen has to be collected in the lab premises in a wide bore sterile jar and it has to be examined after liquefaction. In case the, if the male partner is not able to collect the semen sample, he can collect at home and he can uh, give it to the lab, lab within half an hour keeping at the body temperature. Now coming to the uh, semen analysis. Semen analysis has a different features like macroscopic features and the microscopic features. I will be talking on the microscopic features. In the microscopic features, first coming to the count of the sperms. The normal count is about 80 to 100 million per ml but according to WHO it should be a minimum about 15 million per ml for the normal pregnancy to happen. Next coming to the motility of the sperms. The minimum motility should be about 40 percent which includes a grade A motility that is rapid progressive and grade B motility which is a slow progressive. The total should be about 40 percent. Next coming to the morphology, the morphology is about 4 percent in 100 sperm should be normal. If less than 4 percent then we call it as a teratozoospermia. Azoospermia is defined as absence of sperms in the semen sample. It may be due to the obstructive cause or the non-obstructive cause. Depending on the conditions, we need the treatment. In case of the obstructive cause, the sperms are usually present in the testis which can be collected from the epididymis or the testis by the PISA or TISA procedure and the pregnancy can be planned according to that 
by ICSI procedure in which the sperms are collected and they are manually injected in the oocytes to result an embryo. These embryos are further transferred back into the female uterus to enable the pregnancy. In case of the non-obstructive cause, the PISA or TISA procedure is done and if the sperms yield then we plan for the ICSI. If there are no sperms then the couple has to be counselled for the donor sperm for the respective pregnancy. My key takeaway message would be whenever the, there is an infertility issue in a couple, I advise them to come together and investigate for both the partners male and female and whoever is having an issue we will treat accordingly. And if the male factor has some habits, we should advise them to stoppage of this uh, habits and regular counselling should be introduced.